वेलकम टू नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इट्स अ सेंटर फॉर सर्जिकल ट्रेनिंग एंड एजुकेशन In this video I am going to talk about uh, which type of anesthesia we should use for doing phaco and why not 100% surgeries phaco surgeries under topical anesthesia So why do most surgeons including me prefer to do phaco emulsification under topical anesthesia There are several advantages it is safer as it avoids the risk of uh, peribulbar and retrobulbar blocks it avoids red eyes and congestion seen after subtenon anesthesia Visual recovery is generally quick and less distressing for the patient as there is no pad. Patient experience is much better than when they have uh, peribulbar blocks. Now, the primary aim of anesthesia of any type is to help the surgeon to operate without causing discomfort or pain to the patient, and that is something we must always remember. Now, this particular patient, I am uh, I have already started uh, for the quick commencement again surgery. but the moment i start doing the surgery my assistant already told me like while draping patient was very anxious and as you can see that there are some lashes there which could not be covered that was because patient was squeezing the eyes and the moment i started doing chop you can see that patient suddenly moves his head as i spoke with the patient and that's what i generally do to calm down the patient i realized that patient is having discomfort and pain so i decided to give posterior subtenon anesthesia so first step is to give 0.1 to 0.2 cc xylocaine with 26 kg needle in the infranasal quadrant then wait for 15 to 20 seconds so that it has uh, its effect now make an opening in the tenon and then use a 20 gauge bigger blunt cannula with 2% xylocaine and go into the posterior subtenon space and inject just 1 cc of xylocaine that's enough and wait for 15 to 20 seconds this wait is also important because the xylocaine that you have infiltrated takes 15 to 20 seconds to start its action and now you can see after 20 second when i start the surgery the patient is absolutely comfortable now painless surgery makes the patient as well as the surgeon very comfortable the risk of systemic stress induced complication are reduced for example the patient many times when they are having discomfort and pain the bp might shoot up patient's heart rate might go up so patients who have systemic issues they may find it little bit discomforting as well as it might induce some systemic problems as well also patient might exert pressure on the eyes uh, while the surgery is going on patient might squeeze the eyes and that may make the surgery little bit uncomfortable patient may also start moving the eyes so four important step first 0.1 to 0.3 cc sub conjunctival xylocaine using 26 kg needle just inject very slowly so patient doesn't have any pain wait for 15 to 20 seconds to for it to have its effect then make an opening in the posterior tenon and through it you inject 1 cc of 2% xylocaine using 20 gauge blunt cannula into the posterior subtenon space and 1 cc is enough you don't have to inject more then wait for 15 to 20 seconds and you are good to go for more such videos do subscribe to my youtube channel i have very nice videos on basic steps of the surgery and the thought process do not miss all those playlists thank you